Yo, yo, good morning, Big Sid. Big Sid here. I hope everybody roll call. Hope everybody doing good. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go over a few things about my channel. Everybody welcome. Oh, uh, everybody welcome. Much love. Um, I'm going to be releasing some music. I've been working on some, like, you know, they say you can't beat them and join them. I've been working on some rap music, though. It's going to be fire, bro. Um, people ask me, how to you, how do you survive on the yard in prison? Now, I know what. Like, when I ran the yard, you know, and it was like Corcoran, Salinas Valley, let me just tell you something, like, I'm going to do, someone asked me to do a video about California gangs, okay, because I'm from North Carolina, okay, California gangs, prison gangs, are gay, bro, gay, that's how they started, let me tell you something, man, I don't care who it is, lowriders, A, B, C, D, E, the booty, all of them, man, I came to the yard, first time I was at Salinas Valley, dude, I was doing that nine-year stretch for armed um, robbery, bro. And I roll up, and there ain't on the yard. I'm like, who has the keys? And they're like, Wes Watson. I'm like, that twat? So, man, here's what I go inside the, the dorm, okay? And I hear someone just a, ooh, ooh, just a moaning. Okay, I'm like, who is that? It's like, that's Wes Watson. He's with those two black brothers. Man, I walk into that cell, and they got his legs pushed back, and he's just a, oh, oh, he's just a horror. And I'm like, bro, my white bro, we need to talk. You know what this nigga says to me? He says, when I'm done. When you're done, Wes, like a woman, that black dude now going, oh. I was like, my gosh, these California gangsters are gay. North Carolina, that stuff don't go, bruh. So that's my first time I met Wes Watson. I took him out of that cell when they were done with him. He cleaned up his booty hole. Boy, I just beat the brakes off of that fool. Beat the brakes off of him. Slapped the black dudes just for, just for the heck of it. To show them it's my yard. So I had control of that yard for like nine months, bruh. Um, uh... Sorry, man, I'm sleepy. That's the boxing strip, get me? Um, stay off those drugs, though. Like, when I ran the yard, there was only a few ways to stay safe, okay? When you're a big nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can see me. Like, you can just see, you know what I'm saying? Like, people gonna leave me alone simply because the way I carry myself. But, like, say you're a new person, you're on the yard. Always, always get you a blade. Always. You respect people. Don't turn your back on someone. You know what I'm saying? You're at the chin-up bar. Someone's like, man, let me work in there. You say, boy, if I get my blades, you ain't working in nowhere. That kind of stuff. Okay, like I remember once on the yard, it was me, a couple of Nesta Familias, Northerners, a couple of Southerns, some Nazi plo riders. Oh, and they having a beef about the hair on. And I slammed my fist down. Listen to me now. I just told him straight up. Are we going to play? Or are we going to get it on? Half of them left. Because here's the thing. It's all about calling people's bluff. You ask for my papers. I'm going to hand you some toilet paper to wipe that boogery nose that your mama didn't teach you no better. Okay? But always get you a blade. You get you 